So in the new film, The Pale Door, we are following two brothers after a botched train robbery who lead a gang of cowboys overnight into a ghost town inhabited by a coven of witches. Take a look. You don't look like no Dalton. How about you tell me what you think a Dalton looks like then? Hey friend, now we're just funning, just having a little playing with the kid, that's all. Well, you wanna keep playing, we can keep playing. And star of The Pale Door, Zachary Knighton, joins me now. Zachary, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Okay, whoa. <laughs> I know you haven't seen this yet, but the trailer alone suggests that this is just one like you got to be ready for. But if you love the horror genre as I do, then you're going to love this, right? I think so. Yeah. I mean, for me, you know, uh, uh, I, I love the horror genre and I love the Western genre. And um, I've always wanted to do a Western. I've done a couple horror films in my career, but I've always wanted to do a Western. And uh, for me, this was the perfect blend of, of the two genres. Yeah, because they usually don't typically mix as I'm, I'm thinking back. Like, why did this work? There's so much sort of lore anyway and, you know, set in the Old West that uh, yeah, I think it's pretty, pretty easy to put a little supernatural bent to it. And, it. and it works. Now, you play Duncan. Tell us about Duncan and a little bit about, without giving too much away, but the trailer says a lot, uh, <laughs> what kind of trouble he gets. <laughs> the trailer does say a lot. Duncan's the leader of this gang. He takes these guys in to rob this wagon, a train that they think it's got gold from the, the Pinkertons, which was this famous sort of detective agency that the Pinkertons are guarding. So they assume that they're going to get this big uh, payday, and instead they find a woman that's been caged and locked in this trunk. You find out later in the movie why she why she's locked up in this trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all release something, uh, you know. Uh, Don't so, open Pandora's box. Listen, let it be a lesson to us all. I was gonna say, how would you describe this in, in, in bigger terms? Is it good versus evil? Because it's not so black and white. When I read the script, I sort of thought, oh, this is a, this is a sort of a good example of the evils of men. And I think uh, uh, there's, a, there's a bigger statement being made here um, about the things that we do, even if with good intentions, can lead to bad things. And, um, and I think, you know, in general, it's, yeah, it's about the evils of men. And I, I think they're going to, some men in this movie are going to get their uh, comeuppance. Mm, mm. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about where you are right now. Um, you are in Hawaii, uh, currently shooting season three of Magnum PI, the reboot. That's right. We're not currently shooting. We're in prep. We're hoping with the COVID protocols, you know, that we can get to work and be one of the first productions to get back to work. But we're really, we have a new baby in the house, so we're being really careful. We're, you know, so we're kind of sticking to our selves here in our little bird's nest in, in paradise right now. <laughs> That's nice. That, listen, if you got a quarantine and, and social distance, Hawaii is a great place to do it, I might imagine. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your character, Rick. I mean, folks love him. Can you tell us anything with the scripts that you've seen, what we can see uh, coming from Rick in season three? You know, I think we try to deal with real life issues on the show. I mean, certainly we deal with uh, PTSD issues and, and issues that uh, our vets have when they come back. And, um, and I think you'll, you'll be seeing the show, you know, uh, deal with some current events too this year. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what the writers come up with. I like that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so let's talk happy endings, right? The cast had a reunion. There are all these rumors, Zachary, about season four, a movie. What can you tell us? I've never worked for a show longer, you know, that after it was canceled than when I worked when it was on the air. <laughs> there was almost a deal in place uh, last year. We we're almost ready to do it. Um, the unfortunate yet fortunate thing is, is everybody really had a nice career after that show and yeah. um, everyone's attached to different networks and studios now. So there's a lot of red tape to try to get through to make it happen. But the good news is, is that everybody loves each other and we really want to do this thing. So 
I think if anybody sees that uh, pandemic episode that we just shot for charity, yeah, you'll see that uh, the writers, the actors, nobody's really lost a step, and yeah, the chemistry's there, and everybody wants to make it happen. So we're trying. We're going to try to make this thing happen. Yeah, well, I'm glad you have so many great things going on, and it's good to talk to you. I'm glad that things are good in your world. Well, thank you for saying that, and I hope things are good in your world. Yeah, they're getting there, getting better every day. <laughs> well, I want to let everybody know that this very scary movie, The Pale Door, is in theaters on demand and on digital starting on August 21st. Zachary, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.